X Factor Steve Brookstein reveals how Max Clifford threatened to bury him hours before final show. Steve Brookstein, winner of the first series of The X Factor in 2004, has revealed how Max Clifford threatened him in the wake of the former celebrity publicist's death. And today, 13 years to the day since the incident happened, Clifford died following two heart attacks in jail. Steve took to Facebook as the news broke to recall just what happened between him and the PR guru, who at that stage was still working with Simon Cowell. 13 years today I will never forget, Steve wrote. It was the eve of the first X Factor final and I had to go to Simon's mansion for a fake dinner to be filmed. Microwave Dem and Estina with a sign order of playing with my emotions. He went on, it was the beginning of a 13 year living hell. The man responsible for orchestrating a media hate campaign against me was PR guru Max Clifford. Talk to the press and well bury you he once told me. Max Clifford has just died in prison after a heart attack while cleaning his cell. Unlucky. Steve also spoke out about Clifford in his autobiography, Getting Over the X. Which was released in 2014, the same year Clifford was jailed for eight counts of indecent assault against women and girls as young as 15. Clifford died in hospital on Sunday 10 December following a cardiac arrest in jail. His daughter Louise revealed her the first tinkling days ago. He collapsed in his cell on Thursday when he was trying to clean it, it was just too much, she said. Next day he collapsed again and was unconscious for several minutes though he doesn't know how long. Clifford was attended to by medics in prison who recommended he be taken to hospital, Louise said. He then suffered a cardiac arrest on Friday. Clifford was due to appeal against all his convictions early next year on the basis of fresh evidence. <laughs>